Hello everybody, Adam from developphp.com here once again with another video lesson. In today's lesson we'll demonstrate how to use PHP to parse multiple selection HTML form fields. Let's first run a live demo of our little application in a browser to show you guys what you'll be learning in this video lesson. Have you ever been on a website that has a form and in that form it has a select list and in that list you can select multiple items and they'll usually tell you in the form hold control to select multiple items. So I just made a quick demo that says what skills do you have and here's my select element and you can see that if I hold control or even if I hold shift I can select multiple items. So if I click HTML hold shift and click PHP I'll get all of those items or if I click HTML5 and hold control and click PHP I'll just get to both of those items and let me click MySQL while holding control here. Press submit and then I show you guys how to parse that whole select list with the multiple items and access each multiple item within the array and the resulting variable that you're going to get posted to PHP is an array so you can just break down the array simply and we'll show you how to do that no problem okay first start with a new .php file for this lesson and even though your form might be sitting on a page that's HTML based maybe you have your form sitting on a .html file and you won't have it in a PHP file that's just fine but the name of my file is multiselectparsing.php because I'm gonna have my PHP script directly in the file where the form is so pretty much the file that the form is on is going to actually parse the form as well and you might not have that situation you might have a PHP file elsewhere in your server that does the parsing for your HTML form and that's fine we're just doing it all on the same page to keep things simple for the demonstration. I'm going to pop in an H3 tag here, which is just a heading. Then under that heading, I'm going to start my opening form tag. And you can see the action attribute is set to multi-select-parsing.php, which is the name of the file that I'm building here. So it's going to parse on itself. And you can even use the PHP server self variables there, the global variables. But I'm just putting the name of the file in. It's easier that way. The method is post. So when the form is submit, these variables will be posted to the PHP script. And the name of my form is my form. Now let's go down a couple of lines and close off that form tag. Now I'm simply going to type in what skills do you have. Then put a break tag. And under that in parentheses, I'm going to tell the user to hold C C T R L key to select multiple. Then in the next line down, I'm going to put a couple of break tags just to separate my select element that I'm going to put in right now. Now let's place our select tag into the form and you can see my select tag has a name attribute of skills. Now this is a traditional way to set up your select list type thing. To get it to where people can hold control to select multiple items in that list you just give it another attribute called multiple. Multiple equals multiple. And you have to be really sure that you put the opening bracket and closing bracket here after the word skills to signify to the PHP parsing script that this is going to be an array that it can split up and break down an array of individual options because we're allowing them to select multiple okay and the last thing we need under the select tag is a couple of break tags and just a simple input button and we can name that my BTN and that will process the form to our PHP script which we're going to have right above this heading so the first thing in the file, we're going to open up a PHP block, PHP scripting block. And here is where we can put our PHP script. It's going to parse this form and break down that array so you can use it for any kind of data handling you need. The first thing we want to do is check to see that this form field is posting to the page before we try and parse anything. Because if nothing is posted through the form, we don't want this PHP script to run up top. We just want the form to display to the user. So this if condition makes sure that the posted variable of skills is definitely set before anything within this if condition executes. And the isSet function of PHP handles that nicely. Now, inside of the if condition, let's place these two lines. The first line is we're creating a variable called skills array. We named it skills array because that's what that data object is. This posted variable of skills, that data object is an array so we named its variable skills array so it makes good sense then if we were to run this line echo skills array let's change that to the right variable name what you're going to have is the page will echo the word array basically it'll just echo the array object 
and it won't be a broken down separated list of items that you can see unless you use special code in PHP to break down an array or display an array. You can either serialize, serial, either serialize an array to see it. If you echo it, you can serialize it, use the serialize function, or you can use print R. That'll also show an array, but that won't do you much good when it comes to processing the data. Separating it out and then maybe sending it to a MySQL database, saving it, or using it for some kind of data processing need. You really have to use a loop to iterate over that array, which is what we're going to show you right now. And if you happen to not be good at all or you don't know array programming in PHP at all, you can go to developphp.com, click Learn PHP, and you guys that are familiar with developphp will notice I have a new table of contents for every section at the site now. So it's easier to get to different sections within each course or video tutorial section. But if I click Learn PHP here and then I click Working with Arrays in PHP, this is the data that you want to look over. This will school you on how to work with arrays in PHP and let you know what it's all about. That way you're not in the dark about what we're doing right now in the script. So what we're going to do is under this echo, actually let's comment this out because it's just going to echo the word array to you anyway. I just wanted you to see that it was an array object that's going to be echoed out if you tried to echo that out right there. What you need to do is put a for each loop right here. So here's our for each loop. And you can see we're targeting the skills array and we're using the as syntax to create key value pairs out of each array element. So what a for each loop does, let's say you have six items within your array. The for each loop is going to run six times and iterate over all six of those items. So just for referencing purposes, which your script might not even need, we're going to put an iterator variable here, or an index variable, and we're going to set it to a value of zero to start with. Then inside the for each loop, the first line inside the for each loop, we're going to take i, that variable, and plus plus it. And what that does is it keeps compounding and adding to that number each time the loop runs. And I'm putting it in just for you guys to reference what's going on. And the next line is where we actually echo out to view all of those different values within the array. And the key, actually. So this line is set up real slick to show you which loop index we are in, in this for each loop, which array key that this array item has, and the value that it contains. And you can take these values and parse them to MySQL, or whatever you need to do. Now under the for each loop, let's just put exit. That way the form won't show in the processing part. Right when your script gets to right here, none of this other data will render to the page because the script will exit. It will tell the PHP file to stop executing. Okay, now let's press Control S. Let's make sure we're on a PHP enabled server before we test this because if you're on your local machine, you don't have PHP configured to run on your local machine, this script won't work for you. You have to be on an online server that has PHP enabled or you have to have PHP installed on your local machine. So that, my friends, is how you parse multiple list selections in your HTML form select elements using PHP.